Boo's growling. Nancy's moving in slow motion. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning. It's 9.30 a.m. Get down. A quarter of that time. I'm just about to go downstairs and feed the cats. Come on. The other cats are eating right now. Move over. Move over. This is the gate that I keep in this door overnight. The reason why I do that is so they can't get their paws underneath the door because that bangs the door all night. So when I put the gate here, it just keeps everything quieter. And I literally hurdle this gate multiple times a day. Um, the only time this gate comes down is when the cats, when the kittens are allowed upstairs, then the gate comes down, they're allowed upstairs. But if they're downstairs, so they don't bang on the door, I keep the gate here. And I'm just tall enough to easily hurdle it. But as you can see, there's like a step underneath it. I don't know, there's like another six to eight inches underneath it. So it is quite high. And there's Sammy. She was just walking on this cat wheel. And Richard was using it the other day also. So, so far it's really just the two of them that I see using it. But they do continue to use it. And there was just a cat in the backyard. It's like, I think it's like a white and gray cat. It almost has a nose like Splash. Um, so it was in the backyard not too long ago and actually there's a whole bunch of feathers over here in the dirt So I'm wondering if it got a bird There goes Sammy she was on the wheel Let me tell you about what happened a few hours ago So these are the paper plates from dinner last night, but let me tell you what happened a few hours ago So right now it's 930 but at 430 in the morning I woke up to the sound of like a cat disagreement like some very unhappy cats like howling and meowing like a lot of unhappy sounds and I could not figure out where it was coming from so I woke up and I first thought well is it like Stella Simba splashes at them but then I was like no it doesn't sound like them because I know what they sound like and then I thought maybe it was coming from outside because there are a few cats that I do see around like outside but it really sounded like it was coming from underneath me which means like where the cats are here downstairs so I was like oh something's going on down there and I could not get into the security camera app for some reason the security camera app would not connect so I couldn't just easily see if it was them or not so I had to get out of bed come down here and see what was going on and when I came down here everything was quiet like I thought maybe they had been in a fight and then when I came down here like it they were like scared so then it broke it up and I had to take some treats out to make sure all the cats came out to make sure everyone was okay and they did um, so then I was like okay I gave him a few treats went back to bed but then I checked this security camera footage this morning and it ends up that it was not these cats at all it was actually coming from outside somewhere so I don't know what was going on outside but when I checked the security camera footage like all these cats down here they were quiet they were sleeping and when they heard it they actually ran to the cat tower to look out the window so uh, it's good to know it wasn't them so this is the mini trampoline and this is the beautiful cover that Sharon made for it and I want to show you something so I have the cover on here and I was like well the cats might not like the cover because then they can't see like what's underneath it. They can't play their games where someone's on top, someone's on the bottom, whatever. So I tied one side of the cover and I tied the other side of the cover. So if they want, they could flip it up and like look that way or get underneath it. Sometimes Sammy likes laying underneath the cover. But let me show you what I found. So this is a carrot toy, right? So this is fleece. It's double-sided fleece. It's a thick cover. Let me show you. Here's a carrot. What I do is I take it, I put it underneath the trampoline. Watch this. Watch. Look at that. Look at this. They know where it is. I don't know if they could see through fabric or if they feel the vibrations of it moving around. But look, here's little Eva. She's even looking at it. Look. 
look at this. I move it around, and there she goes. Look, there's little Eva. She's looking for it, too. They see it. Somehow, I don't know if they see the tiny, tiny vibrations of the movement, but this is like, I've never experienced this before. I mean, it's through fabric. Like, how do they know? Now, right now, I am actually... Um, I'm rubbing the toy up against the bottom of the trampoline, right? So they can actually sense where where the toy is. You can see them looking like where the toy is. They're following in it with their with their eyes, right? Now, if I take the toy and I don't touch the bottom of the trampoline, then they can't really find it as well. But if I touch the bottom of the trampoline, then right away they go after it. So it has to be not just visual it has to be that they're they're feeling it and i'm like doing it so lightly like so lightly see see she knows exactly where it is and i'm just very very lightly touching it underneath the trampoline like this is crazy so the cats have been on homemade raw food for the past several weeks and today is fish day so they're gonna have some canned fish gives me a little bit of a break today and they're all enjoying their food. They're getting some of the wellness. I think it's lobster and chicken pate. And then they're getting some of the nature's promise. I'm just using up the canned food that I have in the house. And this is what's going on upstairs. So we had some playtime with this paper. The cats love that. And then the upstairs cats got some of the Fancy Feast Naturals. Because those are low carb foods. And they got some salmon pate. And they also, I think it was trout and tuna. So there's still food on the plate, so they're not going to get more, but looks like they enjoyed their meal. So I was just taking some garbage out and I decided to walk over here and look at this. Now I thought this was feathers, but it's not feathers. This looks like some kind of fur. So I'm thinking maybe this was from the cat fight last night. It, I mean, it sounded like a cat fight, unless this is not from a cat. I don't know what it's from because it's white and the only white thing I've seen around here would be a cat. Um, because when I looked at the security camera footage from overnight, I basically saw two cats. I saw like a tabby cat and then I also saw the other one, the one that's like white or gray, the one that I said I saw in this yard this morning. So I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's from that cat. I don't know. I don't know who else it could be from. There is some gray here with this fur. I mean, there's, there's tufts of it. I don't know if you could see, but there's like tufts of this fur. So I don't know if it came out of a cat during a fight. It's quite a lot of fur though. So that's troublesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's from. It is 3.45 PM and here's Nancy. She's in the doorway to Boo's room. So Boo was in his room today and Sammy was in the hallway. And Sammy's been a good girl, so I put her in Boo's room earlier today. I thought maybe she'd like hanging out in there, but she didn't want to stay. So she came out. So what happened was I was checking on Boo and Sammy was in the hallway. So I opened the door, walked in the room, and I was like, Sammy, you want to come in the room? And she came in the room. And then the next thing I know, uh, here's Nancy, and Nancy was in the hallway. So then Boo saw Nancy and Ziggy, and he decided he wanted to come out of the room. So Boo walked out of his room, and it was Sammy, Nancy, and Ziggy. And um, after Boo walked out of the room, then Nancy walked into the room. And here she is now. She's in, the, she's in the doorway. And here's Boo. He's hanging out on this paper on the play rug. Now, earlier today, this paper was not torn to shreds, but um, the kittens got to it, and they kind of tore it up. So he's relaxing here. There's Ziggy. There's Sammy. Can you see her back there? And here's Boo. So Boo is kind of surrounded by kittens right now. So from the way we're facing Boo, Ziggy is at 11 o'clock, Sammy is at one o'clock, and Nancy is at five o'clock. So they're kind of all surrounding him. Hopefully, I mean, he doesn't look stressed out. You okay, Boo? You okay? Yeah, he feels okay. When a cat's stressed out, you could usually feel it, like they'll be tense. He feels really relaxed right now. Okay. It's nice and cool over here because 
uh, the windows are open and the window in his room's open, so there's a bit of a cross breeze. The problem with keeping the door shut to his room and the door shut to my room and keeping any door shut in this house actually is that it definitely reduces the cross ventilation, which, you know, is not always good. When all the doors are open, the windows are open, I get a lot of nice cross breezes. Right, Boo? And there's Nancy. She's staring at Boo. She's the wild card in this situation. Boo is no longer the wild card. Uh, the two wild cards are Nancy, who's here, and Richard, I don't know where he is right now. Um, and then Ringo would be the third wild card. But other than that, so far the other kittens have been really okay with the other cats. It's just Nancy and Richard, especially, and then Ringo, like, occasionally. But I do have a spray bottle filled with water at the ready. Um, a few viewers mentioned that when I posted the video of Splash being attacked and I don't use spray bottles with the cats but I think I'm gonna give it a try if if I see like Nancy or Richard or Ringo in a position where they're looking like they're gonna jump on the other cats or attack them I will um, spray water on them. And right now I only have like big spray bottles. I might have to go and buy like a smaller one just so it'll be more convenient. I might actually buy a few smaller ones and have them in a few different rooms so that there's always one nearby. So right now it's about five minutes to four and I still have to get some work done and get my day finished. And once my um, like work work is done then there's a lot of cleaning I wanted to get done this afternoon I need to vacuum the house get a bunch of stuff cleaned and I'm still catching up from um, a few weeks of not cleaning as much when I had my wisdom tooth out and when Boo uh, had his tooth extracted so I'm hoping to catch up and then yesterday I had to take out all of my summer clothes and put away all of my winter clothes and that took hours. It takes a long time to do that. So I need a bigger house where I don't have to do that. So here's Sammy and Ziggy. Sammy moved over here. So it's five minutes later and Boo is now growling because this is where Nancy is. Nancy's here. And Boo's here. And I'm standing here with the water bottle. Boo's growling. Nancy's moving in slow motion. So, so Nancy does not need to be this close to Boo at all. She's approaching him. I hit Boo by mistake with the spray bottle and then I hit Nancy, but I was able to break it up. And there's Sammy. I feel bad that I hit Boo, but I guess my aim is not good because I've never used this before. So Boo just went back to his room. He's okay. I'm sorry that you got sprayed with the water, but actually you're very dry, so I don't know if I sprayed you. I, I think I think I sprayed near him and he got freaked out by it. Yeah, he's dry. He's not even sprayed. But it worked really good, so thank you to everyone who left that suggestion. It worked wonderfully. It's 8.15 p.m. and here's Sammy. She wanted to come upstairs, so she's the only cat upstairs with the other cats. As soon as Simba saw her, Simba ran and hid under the bed. So here's Stella. Stella was growling and hissing. There's Sammy. Okay, she just took herself back downstairs and Nancy's there, so I shut the door. 
What's going on, Nancy? Nancy's been crying by the door. This is what she does. She cries by the door. Now, I gave you some crunchies on the plates. You had food. I played with you guys. Now, I told you I need to clean some stuff up, and then I can come back down and play with you some more, okay? But right now, I have to clean some stuff up, okay, Nancy? You have six brothers and sisters to play with, okay? You got six other cats to play with. You don't have to wait for me. You want me to scoop the litter? All right, I'll come and scoop the litter, but it looked okay. But I'll scoop it, then we're done. We're scooped for the night, okay? All right? Good, Nancy? You all right? You can't come upstairs because I can't watch you right now. I gotta clean some stuff up, okay? It is 7.53 a.m. Here's Simba. And I want to tell you what happened this morning and what happened last night. So last night I ended up going out for dinner. I ended up not eating dinner at home. And I also did not eat a very healthy dinner. Like, you know, I had the equivalent of like fast food. And I don't normally eat that way. So after I got home, I decided, well... I did not really eat a healthy dinner, so I'm going to give the cat some crunchies. They haven't had crunchies in quite a while. So they had a crunchy snack last night for the first time in several weeks, and they enjoyed it. They only had about one tablespoon each, so they didn't have the amount that they've had in the past. I used to give them like three tablespoons each in the past, so they only had like one tablespoon each last night. But this morning, nobody jumped on my bed to get pets. Nobody jumped on my bed to wake me up. Normally Simba will jump on my bed or he'll sleep on my bed and around 4.30 in the morning he'll want some kind of a snack. He did not do that. Stella did not jump on my bed. Boo did not jump on my bed. Splash never does, but it's just the other three. Nobody jumped on my bed this morning and nobody tried to wake me up this morning. And that's what they do when they don't get their crunchies at night. But because they got crunchies last night, nobody bothered me this morning. So I just wanted to make that observation. It is 9.55 a.m. Hello, Boo. The cat's had their breakfast. Boo's in his room. This is his morning routine. He has his breakfast, then he comes in his room. Stella, Splash, and Simba are in my room, so I shut the door. And um, right now, I'm just about to scoop out the litter. So these are the litter boxes and something weird's going on in this room because when I walked in the room, it smells like clay litter. Like it's a really strong clay litter smell, which is weird. And I don't really know why that's happening. So yesterday I took this boo mat outside to uh, wash it down. It has been washed in a while and it was in the sun. So I don't know if it's coming from that because that's the only thing that's different or if it's coming from this air purifier because maybe the filter's full and maybe it needs to be dealt with. So I unplugged it and I want to take this outside and open it outside because it's going to be very dusty and I want to take a look at the filter. They, they say you could vacuum the outer filter um, but I want to see uh, if I need to order a replacement. They say the filter should last six to eight months but with this right near two litter boxes uh, it might need to be replaced sooner than that. It's 10.15 and we got problems because somehow the kitten has got into the bedroom. Okay, right now it looks like it's only Splash, Stella, and Simba under the bed. Um, but there were like four kittens in the room a minute ago. So... It was Sammy, Ziggy, Richard, Ringo, and I believe Nancy. So that would be five of them. And they were on top of the cat tower and on top of the armoire. So I walked down the hallway and I saw that the bedroom door was open. And I was like, why is the door open? Because I shut it. So I, maybe I didn't shut it all the way. Maybe they pushed their way through the door. Because the cats can push a door if it's not shut all the way. So... I immediately walked in and I saw all the cats on top of the cat tower and on top of the armoire. And I was like, oh no, you guys are not staying in here because I knew Stella, Splash, and Simba were in there. So the three of them were under the bed. So I just started telling everyone very forcefully, get out of the room. 
and they jumped down from the cat tower. Some of them jumped under the bed and I guess they just ran through um, like the underneath of the bed. Um, and then Richard jumped off the tower and out of the room and then I was able to get Sammy out without going under the bed. So I was able to get them all out. I shut the door and thankfully there were no incidences. So that's good. I'm gonna let the other cats like chill out for a while. All I wanted to do was sit down and eat some breakfast, so I don't need the drama. On my agenda today is cleaning the house. That's one thing I wanna get done today. I wanna to get the entire house cleaned. I can't do that while I'm babysitting cats. If I can get the whole house clean today, then tomorrow there could be some more integration time. I got my water bottles. I bought some water bottles at Ikea yesterday, so I'm good to go. And right now, uh, everyone just needs to kind of chill out. Now. The kittens necessarily weren't being mean by going into my room. They weren't being vicious or anything. They obviously just wanted to go in there because they like it in there. It's probably in their favorite room upstairs. And they like being on top of the cat tower and looking out. But my cats like that room also. And if they're not getting along, then they can't share it. And Stella's Flash and Simba are going to have that room. And these kittens right now have the rest of the house. I'm outside with the air purifier and I just took the filter out and look at this filter. I mean, it is just covered, covered in dust, but they say you can vacuum the outside of it. So that is what I am going to do, vacuum that. And I'm gonna vacuum the inside of this too, see all that dust. I just started vacuuming this and can you see the difference? I mean, the vacuum just picks up the dust so easily and there's a lot of dust on it. I just put the filter back in. I actually vacuumed around the uh, external part of the air purifier. I'm going to wipe everything down with a damp paper towel and then put this back inside. And I'm pretty sure that this is where the smell was coming from because as I'm vacuuming it, I'm smelling the same smell that was in the room. It's 5.10 p.m. and here's Sammy. She's hanging out by the back door. She got some treats a little while ago because she was meowing a lot. I think she does that when she sees him in the kitchen in the afternoon, then she meows at me for treats. It's 9.15 a.m. and everyone is eating breakfast right now. It's homemade raw food with some freeze-dried chicken on top and everyone did really good. They picked a plate. I have these small paper plates that I use sometimes. And six of them fit perfectly on the platter. And then there's one extra one. Sammy doesn't mind eating off by herself. Sometimes one of the other cats will. But they're, they're all very hungry today. It's 6.10 p.m. And this is the cat that's been crying outside a lot, looking for its friend. Its friend is the white and gray cat. Now, I'm not putting any food out for these cats. They don't look like they're starving. They look like they're getting fed somewhere. I do, however, have a large bowl of water along the side of my house. And this is the cat that was crying at four o'clock in the morning last night. So I hope it doesn't continue to be an every night occurrence because it's happened a few times now. Last night I woke up around 4 a.m. and I heard cats crying. Once again, I thought it was the kittens downstairs, but when I checked the security camera, I saw that they were all sleeping quietly, so I said, it's not them. So then I checked the security camera on the side of the house, and it was this cat. It was drinking some water out of the bowl, but it was also crying because I think it's looking for its friend. Um, I don't know where the friend is. I believe I saw this cat with the other cat this morning. Um... There's been a few cats around. The other night, there was three of them. It was this cat, the other cat, and another cat. And I think they're all friends. Um, I don't think they're related at all because if this is the tabby that I saw months ago, um, even like last summer by itself, I think what's happening is it just made friends with like the white and gray cat and potentially even another cat. So. What it's doing is it's looking for its friend. And once again, I'm not putting food out. I have 11 cats inside this house. I'm not getting involved in any other cats. Now I did want to make a mental note to see if this cat's ear was tipped. 
And right now, from where I am, it does not look like it was tipped. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it was tipped. So it does not look like it was fixed, which is concerning. It is 12.30 a.m. and I was just downstairs with the kittens for a few hours. I was playing with them, I was watching TV, relaxing. And I came upstairs and I was looking for Boo, so I turned the light on in this room and there's normally um, like a green fake grass rug in front of the litter boxes. Well, there was a whole bunch of vomit on it so um, I saw that and I was like, it looked like it had a black hairball in it. So I was like, I wonder if that was Boo. And Boo was laying on my bed. So I was like, it probably was Boo. So I went to get the cleaning supplies, um, paper towels, and then that um, enzymatic cleaner. And I cleaned it up. I, I threw the mat outside because it's late. And hopefully I'll be able to just hose it down tomorrow, clean it outside, everything will be fine. So it's just going to be outside overnight. And I cleaned up the vomit. And what I noticed when I was cleaning it up was uh, some ants. I saw like a trail of ants. Um, they seem to be coming from that direction. So last year in the back corner... Um, that's where I had an ant issue. Every year in this house, there's been an ant issue. And so far this year, um, there's been an ant issue in the upstairs bathroom. And there's been an ant issue, uh, in the kitchen by the back door. Um, and then today was the first time I saw ants in this room. So, I have this Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator. And... I saw the ants, so I sprayed them with this. It killed them instantly. Not even like a full spray. Even just like a little tiny bit sprayed on them, immediately killed them. Like, this is the most powerful ant spray that I've used so far. So, earlier today when I was dealing with ants near the back door, I was using just straight vinegar. And that really wasn't working that well. Um, if I spray straight vinegar on the ants, it doesn't really, you know, stop them dead in their tracks. It doesn't kill them right away. This kills them right away, like immediately. And like I said, not even a full spray, just like a partial little spritz. So um, I'm really happy to have discovered that because, you know, I have this in the house and um, it doesn't seem to be as harsh. Uh, as some other um, ant killers are. Uh, also, uh, it's, you know, safe around pets. So, really happy about that discovery. Thank you for watching this Lucky Thurls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.